After listening to this story, stay tuned for a preview of another episode of American Memories Continued. As new dreams are born and hopes are lived, so too are American Memories Continued. American Memories Continued, an original audio series, is brought to you with love and commercial free by the Fingerprint Community Global, moved by greater to believe bigger. Advocatus Ecclesiae Publishing, perfecting the distribution of hope. And by the ongoing monthly support of friends, community members, and sustaining faithful partners like you. Our theme music, Proudly Western, was composed and performed by Jay Mann at www.ourmusicbox.com. We're thankful and humbled that you've chosen to tune in regularly for your favorite episodes of American Memories Continued. Not just stories told, memories lived. Today's episode is entitled, Daddy Played Guitar. Let all of your cares go for just a little while. Listen closely. Prepare your heart to be stolen. You now have a front row seat, and this is family time. American Memories Continued begins now. We would laugh in private so that no one would know. A secret joke at Daddy's expense. It was all about Mama telling me how Daddy would pluck away at his two or three string guitar. I don't think that he ever wrote a song, but that's okay. His effort was still counted as romantic to mom when they were dating. There were seven of us children, so I guess those two or three strings worked their magic anyway, funny or not. Huh. <laughs> the whole subject came up because I play guitar, and I was wondering and asking if there was someone in the family that I may have gotten it from. You know what I mean. Some sing, some write, some draw, and others have their gifts and talents also. You know, things that they do. It's just something that most families get around to sooner or later, wondering who else in the bloodline used to do what you do. And where did you get it from? Who did you take after? If someone was a little strange, you didn't want to say that you inherited anything from them, though. We know that we can carry looks, traits, and even mannerisms. But are gifts and talents something that can be passed on? If they are, would that take away from our uniqueness? Have you ever been called a chip off the old block? Or does your family tease you and say, I don't know where you came from? You can be so different until someone would have to search way back in the family tree, more like the family forest, to find an uncle or an aunt like you. Don't be discouraged. Parents are just as interesting as their children, or strange if you want to call it that. I have a theory or philosophy about grown-ups that will either help you or trip you out. I believe that grown-ups are just boys and girls that grew older and along the way had experiences that caused them to make decisions and form beliefs that helped them to cope with whatever was going on in their life at the time. They didn't have all of the answers and most still have fears and doubts about great many things to this very day. They did the best that they could with what they knew and learned not to show it. We won't get into the question of whether or not parents have their favorites. Hint, hint. 
but there definitely is a different relationship that they have with each child and rightfully so each child is different mama and I were really close and I asked what the occasion was that caused daddy to pick up his guitar well she laughed and said it wasn't much of a guitar but they were talking about a movie and a man singing a love song in the movie that they were watching to swoon the woman off of her feet daddy not wanting to be outdone proclaimed his love to mom and said that he could do that too I don't think he meant it as a joke but I certainly don't believe that he thought that he was going to have to prove it. Mom said that she called him out on it and out the guitar came. Their smiles turned into laughter as he did his thing and hearing the story made me laugh also. I could see the dream sequence come over Mom as she thought about the memory and then as I gave her a moment she snapped back. Smiling, she said, I had forgotten all about that. Then she slowly turned and walked away. There's too much to try to remember as the years go by, one day at a time. But now, I can share the story of when Daddy played guitar. If you're exiting the studio, please watch your step. For those who are tuned in, we now return you to your ordinary day. We truly hope that you've enjoyed spending this time with us. Our goal, with your help, is that the American Memories Continued Experience grows to become America's new favorite pastime, serving you and your loved ones wherever they are. What did you want to say, young lady? Go ahead. Make sure to become a fan and a supporting partner and listen to our full episodes. Click the links below and follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Medium.com, Instagram, and YouTube. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe. Give American Memories Continued to yourself or to someone that you know. Thank you for listening. Thank you to our veterans for all that you've done for us. And truly, we thank you for your ongoing support. Until next time, God bless. God bless you. And now, a preview from another episode of American Memories Continued. And there's even hungry people living in the same neighborhood as you. Check on the wives and kids of these brave men over here, fighting and dodging bullets so you can have fried chicken, baseball and barbecue in peace. It means more than you'll ever know when a letter or a box gets to one of these boys here. Everybody gathers around just like it's theirs, waiting to see what's in it.